Your time is now 6.31. Well, taking your sweetheart out to a movie this evening, we're staying in with the DVD, is always a popular way to round out a date. But are all movies appropriate for this day of love? Well, here's Jamel Davidson, our movie man or love advisor. He joins Alexa this morning to tell us what's a must and what's a bust. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Anna. And thank you, Jamel. Thanks for joining us on this Valentine's Day. Thanks for having me. I normally don't um, recognize Valentine's Day because it is of the devil. I but, didn't know that it was Disney sponsored. Yeah, it is indeed. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's a good day to sit around and recognize unrequited love. Yes. Right, Anna. <laughs> anyway, I I guess my phone is broken. Let's talk about DVDs. Uh, DVDs now out. Maybe you're watching them with your alone. Sweetheart maybe tonight. with your loved one. Maybe Here's Anna. one. Um, if you have a love for possibly crack or kidnapped children, you should go pick up Gone Baby Gone. <laughs> ben Affleck's first directorial um, flick, and it's a good time. Yeah. His brother Casey Affleck is in it. Um, the the main actress who actually played the crackhead is nominated for an Oscar. So you should check this one out. I hear it stings you, much like love. Oh. Much like Anna. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Secondly, here's a here, here's another romantic DVD you may want to check out. Yes. Um, as we know, um, the quickest way to a man's stomach is through his heart. Wait, no, that's backwards. <laughs> no reservations. Oh yeah. Starring, yeah, Catherine Zeta Jones right. and Aaron Eckhart, soon mm -hmm. to be um, Harvey Dent in this summer's Batman, which is more exciting than this film. They cook a lot. She trips over stuff and they fall in love. Just, you know, like real life. I know. Abigail Breslin's in it. She was hmm. in Little Miss Sunshine, which Pretty was good. a good film. Which this is one is not. So, a good date movie, yes, no? A good date movie if your girl is kind of slow. <laughs> slow girls. <laughs> I'm not calling it, you know. Not let's... fast girls, slow girls. All no, right, what not else fast girls. There's no time for movies. <laughs> with the... Okay, moving on. Yeah, moving on. If you love being a young kid growing up in the 80s like I did, right. and you had a Cinemax and you watched it when you weren't out of supposed to, Ooh. you've probably seen Zapped with Scott Bayo. Probably the first time you ever saw a lady with her top off. <laughs> it's he is 46 and pregnant. He is 46. Remember. Scott Bayo, here's the plot. Keep up. Oh, there's a plot? Keep up. Oh, okay. Scott Bayo is a science nerd in high school. Okay, there is an acting yeah, it's challenge a right there. Okay, keep going. He comes up with a crazy experiment that allows him brain powers. And what does he do? He makes sweaters pop off. And he makes things float. Also starring Willie Ames, as you might know him, um, Bible Man. <laughs> Which is very incongruent on every level. Yeah, it, Bible Man doesn't air on his network, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're going to say that that's maybe for those left home alone. It's a, it's a nostalgia thing. If you're right. home alone, sitting by the phone, waiting for some young news anchor to call. Yeah, like Anna Donaldson. Anyway, all right, okay. now, moving on to movies. You're out and about. You're out there, you got, you got your bucks and you got your candy that you uh -huh. bought at the drugstore. Right. And you're ready to go catch a flick. Right. What better flick than Jumper, starring a blonde Sam L. Jackson, beating up Anakin Skywalker. Blonde? Blonde. Really? He looks kind of... He, he, he yells. It's PG-13, so he doesn't curse. Right. But there are these kids who can teleport and they go all these crazy places and Sam L. Jackson stops them with this big stick. Now I think Sam L. is supposed to be the bad guy in this movie, but if you're me, and if it's Valentine's Day and you love Sam L. Jackson and every wig he tries, this is the movie for you. It sounds like no snakes on a plane though. It won't be snakes on a plane, but mm -hmm. then again, what will? Here. There was the Constitution, there were snakes on a plane, question mark. <laughs> who knows? Alright, what else do we have? Uh-oh, we have Step Up to the Streets, or Step Up to the Streets. It's a sequel to Step Up, so I guess it is Step Up 2. But then 2, also, it's the number 2, but... So clever and uh, crafty. And it's Disney. Uh, well, of course. Yeah, of course it's Disney. It's about these um, kids at a school, and they get into a dance competition with these street dancers. And I have seen the trailer for these crazy dance crews in this movie. I'm not seeing any brown people on this dance team. So I don't it's know not, what kind of dancing they're doing uh, there. Bring it. It's been brought in. No, no. Uh, there's they so many it. crazy dance movies, and they're all jitterbugging and fox trotting all over the place and ha horrible songs by Missy Elliott. But I love dancing, so I'll check it out for a dollar. <laughs> and then I'll eat candy during the plot. 
there it's you a go. sequel. Keep in mind, if you didn't see Step Up, you may be lost. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so, so the fast girls will go to this one. The fast girls will okay. go to Step go. Up right. too. Like it. All the right. streets. Finally, uh, definitely maybe. Definitely maybe what? That, who knows? <laughs> who names these things? Love Actually. From the people that brought us Love Actually. <laughs> they like the commas. They like the indecision. Those crazy Brits. Why do we keep letting them in? We won the war. <laughs> Definitely maybe starring Ryan Reynolds from, a, as you may know from your own DVD show, Two Guys, a Girl, in a Pizza Place. Uh, which I love yeah, that. I was all over that show. And, married and then they stopped Alanis working Morissette. at the pizza place. And then he married Alanis Morissette. Yeah. Isn't that ironic? Don't you think? I'm not even going to get into her. That's a segment on its own. I concur. I concur. Okay. Um, Abigail Breslin. Again, she can do better. What's happening? She's going to turn into Dakota Fanning. She's going to be in the rehab at 14. Those little pageant girls sell out. Okay, so here's the plot. <laughs> pageant girls sell out. Here's, I, here's the plot of this movie. <laughs> he is sitting alone with his daughter, Abigail Breslin, uh -huh. and she says, Hey, Dad, you ever been in love? And he says, I've been in love three times. And he tells her a story about each love. Right. I, that's it. And then there's probably a song by... I don't know, some guy who's British and he sings with a guitar. If you're me, here are the movies you're going to go check out. All right. Here's the stuff you want to see because it's Valentine's Day. You do want to see. Texas see. Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. Punch okay. Drunk Love. Okay, yes. Forrest Gump. There's a good love story that in that is. one. That is. Very true. And Sit Outside Anna's House. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says love like a stalker on Valentine's Day. Or Pepsi Max. Is that, is there, is that a sequel or is that? Um, I think this is the pilot. <laughs> Oh, the, the power version. All right. Yeah. So we'll do a follow up we'll next time. We'll see what happens. Right, there will like be that. footage. Uh, well, all right. Well, I don't even have anything to say to that. All right. You <laughs> Jamal, you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Enjoy sitting on the curb outside of Anna's house. And uh, <laughs> now you know what to watch, what not to watch. We'll send it back to you, Anna. We're, we're watching.